is the Cookie Monster. Ayo, hey it's me. I got tired of adding subtitles, so I'll just voice over this part. Here's a slice of bread for my birds. And here's an everything bagel for me. <laughs> and girl, what's going on in the background? He's totally eating her mouth up. Personally, this is not a kissing technique I'm a fan of, but whatever's. Okay, so I put a bit of jam and almond butter on the bird's bread. I honestly love thick layers of cream cheese on my bagels, but I've never really tried this spread, so I'm trying to be really careful not to overdo it. But maybe next time um, I'll make it a little bit thicker. We'll see. And of course, my favorite pepper jack cheese, raw onion. I put raw onion in almost everything I eat. Then red pepper. Here's me thinking that I can balance out all this cheese and cream with some arugula and some fresh tomatoes and put the lid on oh and more tomatoes i must have been in a mood yep and some baby carrots to trick myself into thinking that i'm actually being really healthy and oh, oops I, I forgot my avocado much much better so i'm also adding two eggs even though i'm not working out lately and i probably don't need all of this but what are you gonna do? It's already made. I mean, we'll think about it later. And then finish it off with some pepper and parsley. And here's my brunch. Bon appetit. I'm still here. So I glanced up while I was sitting at my dining table. And damn, these balls are so nasty. You can see the dirt and grime on the ball or spear or whatever this is called. And this is how it's supposed to look after a good wash. So let's get this fixture cleaned. Basically there's seven of these balls in various sizes. It's a little laborious, but you have to take these out one by one, which I'm doing here. I got this fixture from West Elm and I installed it myself. You can see what the previous lighting looked like. It was uh, not the vibe I was going for. You can probably hear my birds screaming in the background. They're usually in their room during the day. And this is why I don't really talk a lot in my clips. Um, they're kind of like freaking sensitive level 10 bloodhounds. They will start barking whenever there's the slightest noise. And usually one starts barking and then the other two just kind of start chiming in and it becomes like a scream fest. And this is why I'm usually very quiet or <laughs> completely mute while I'm home. And they're not happy about me making all this clunking noise. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to add some music and fast forward this. It's the same process over and over again. I unscrew a bulb, I take out the spear, I wash it, and I put it back on. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death, look like big fun, come on, let's get it on, like that one, fin gay song, I'm stunning, you love it, come on, give me something, I know that you want it, come on, give me something. The night is young and so are we, so maybe you should leave. mention in I think two videos before that I asked Google to relocate me to Michigan because of the lockdown and because of return to office policies the relocation is not happening immediately so <laughs> I haven't even really heard from the relocation company I think they're going to reach out either this week or next week so 
what's going on is I'm actually looking at houses in Michigan. I haven't seen any of them in person and I'm just looking at pictures. But it seems like we're going to start putting some bids in for some houses that we like. Obviously Michigan is not like LA. It's not like super expensive. I personally know nothing about the Detroit real estate market or the city economy. Just trying to make sure that I'm comfortable with whatever price I'm paying to get a place there. And then in terms of my LA house, I am planning to rent it out and just kind of have this as like an additional stream of income and keep this place because it's in a really good neighborhood and I thought I paid a lot of money for what I was getting but that was back in 2017 and I did not know that the market was gonna get this heated but anyways that was kind of like the situation so I've been talking a lot and I'm running out of time so okay so if you follow me on Instagram you probably know that I shop a lot and <laughs> it's kind of a problem because I I just get a high off of buying things. So what I do with boxes is, this is like in front of my front door and I don't, I don't like bringing boxes into my house because I think boxes are just really nasty and I don't like putting them on the floor. So I just leave them in front of my front door and then I just kind of open them and bring whatever is in there. Um, these boxes have been sitting here for a while and we'll do some unboxing. This I already know what it is. It's uh, muesli. It's this like skincare RX type of thing. All right, let me just squat. Um, it gets rid of redness in your skin. This is probably my third bottle. I haven't really finished even my first bottle. I do kind of recommend this because it does work, but I'm just a little afraid of the dosage of some of the ingredients in here. Um, but basically it looks like this. You have to meet with like an online doctor and then they like give you the prescription because this is not over the counter stuff, but it works. So if anyone wants to try it out, proceed with caution. Oh, I know what this is. They're from this brand called Mystic Eyes and I'm a sucker for Instagram ads. So whatever Instagram ads I see usually, especially late at night, when I look at those ads, I want to buy everything, so that's what happened. I don't really remember what shades I got. I mean, once I open these, I'll just kind of share it with you guys. And then, the next one, this. It's from Korea. I've been waiting for it for a very long time. Ta-da! So this is like... Um, a character is a Korean character. Obviously, it's a penguin. His name or her name. Like, he doesn't really have a pronoun. I think he's kind of like both sexes. And his name is Pingsu, or her name is Pingsu. It's like a 10 year old giant penguin that kind of landed in Korea. You know my love for penguins, so I've been watching this channel ever since it had, I think, like 3,000 subscribers. And um, Pengsu sometimes has like really questionable episodes, but I mean, overall, I like the character. All right, next is my Amazon box. I obviously share the account with my significant other, and sometimes I end up opening his package, or my package ends up in his hands. Oh, this is actually mine. Um, yeah, this is just waterless car wash. You know, if you just want to wash your car in the garage, you could use these. This actually smells really nice. It's almost like perfuming up your car. And this is like a plastic repair thing. So I'm trying to, trying to get the BMW cleaned up. Um, I have two more boxes. This has been sitting out here for a very long time. Oh, oh, I remember what this is. So these are shoes actually from Ambush. And I think I got this from either Farfetch or Sense. <laughs> See this? So these are Converse like collab with Ambush. And 
they're like really like rugged and I basically bought these for like the winter snow in Michigan. I'm like so mentally prepared. I keep buying like all these winter like gear. I just like imagine myself in Michigan, but here I am still in LA. I think I bought it on sale. It was definitely under a hundred dollars. It was like like 40 or 60 dollars i think it was like final sale they had the same design in women's and men's but they didn't have my size in women's but i can wear a men's size 7 so i just ordered the men's size and then in the back it says like ambush oh shit it has like the size on it too oh that's weird This I'm just gonna have to put away and hopefully if I'm settled in Michigan and I see some snow then I'll be able to wear these. But for now, I'm just gonna put it back in. Last package, this has also been sitting out here. I know exactly what this is. So I ordered this um, during Labor Day, I think, or 4th of July. It was one of those shopping periods. And this also is a preparation. Oh, that's so cute! For my move to Michigan. This I need to take in. Ta da! It's an ice box and it matches my shirt. <laughs> this is really cute. It's yellow and mint. Basically, come on, don't do this. The inside is mint, the outside is yellow. Um, the reason why I bought this is because when we actually move to Michigan, if this is ever gonna happen, we actually need to go on a road trip because the birds cannot get on a flight. They spray the planes a lot and the birds are really sensitive and anything that's like sprayed or chemical could like really kill them, especially like bleach or like cleaning chemicals. So I'm not even gonna take a chance of putting them on a plane. So we're just gonna have to either buy like a used SUV, we don't have like a big car, or rent a SUV and just drive them to Michigan. So I thought if we're gonna do that, we need like, like a cooler. I thought it was cute. So we'll use this during the trip. That was today's unboxing.